Hello, Brian, can you hear me? Okay, Brian might not be able to hear me. Uh, Marcus, can you hear me? I can hear, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, so um, good morning, good afternoon, yes. good evening, wherever you are. This is uh, session two of Blockchain Associations Forum. And in this session, we are delighted to have Marcus Lettonen from uh, Helsinki Blockchain Center and Blockchain Forum Finland. And he's going to uh, talk about um, the um, recent developments in the crypto assets and blockchain landscape in Finland and, and Nordic region. So over to you, um, Marcus. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, uh, delighted to be there and show from our high north uh, take to the blockchain uh, deployment here in Finland. Uh, yes, uh, so uh, like some statistics first that uh, or maybe a few words first that, that from our background that, that we have really a kind of uh, hostile environment in that way that, that uh, all the bad news, uh, it, it's all the time the uh, cryptocurrencies and the criminality there whatever the uh, our uh, people say uh, don't seem to make a big difference that the political opinion is like this this way and one thing struggling the uh, society here uh, is the, for the blockchain people is that that uh, we are like these high north uh, tax countries and here just uh, the example from the background that, that uh, in the years uh, 20, uh, 21, uh, we really had from a couple of thousand uh, that uh, where cryptocurrency users uh, rise to 100,000. So you see it's, it has kind of started to take the adoption from private people, uh, their cryptocurrencies and... and uh, yeah, we had just like uh, 0 0.2 uh, or 200 million euros or 0 0.2 and now more than 2,000 so euros in 21. We had like the um, and uh, we, the users of cryptocurrencies, had to pay taxes like uh, the uh, half a billion, so 400. 60 million uh, euros so in a way that 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 uh, through this usage of uh, the cryptocurrencies is inevitable so we start to get uh, more recognized but like we have a really a problem with the regulation it's quite unclear and even though uh, normally our tax uh, is very clear and so on but like um it's fairly uh, hostile the uh, environment that 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 uh, because the regulation is unclear to get to the market we need the uh, rules and and they take so long that all the things inventions get old before they get into the market yeah uh to continue to stay to that light our old regular regulatory frameworks that that uh, they are the problem and then and the, most of the decision makers uh, their knowledge is uh, is uh, fairly limited and uh, and the, the big problem is the attitude like for the thing and uh, yeah to to uh, we have the first signs from the first quarter this year that, that uh, after uh, the long years now, doing five, six years here in the front line uh, with the Finnish authorities that the works, uh, they have started to recognize now and uh, and we have like hopes that, that the, the, the regulations would get better that, that, that. But yeah, uh, 
for the active users like the, the we have uh, we are in the uh, telegram groups uh, thousands of people really minute by minute you can see that they uh, have conversation going there uh, to manage the, the reporting that, that it's it's quite possible here impossible here to do and uh, like i mentioned already from the licenses to the market e entry to do we we have five uh, licensed crypto exchanges and and we have high knowledge of the uh, anti-money laundering project especially together with uh, sweden we have uh, like uh, in the finnish police swedish uh, police have really find out that uh, it's very limited the number of uh, of uh, crime in that way from the total from the money laundering happen happening here. But yeah, one side gets maybe uh, easier as as the Russian impact for the business is has got lately <laughs> nice and quiet and and so on that that we don't have so active and many oligarchs anymore here than, than the prior to 24th of uh, February, the 24th this year. But yeah, so uh, what would we want to have? We would want to have like a clear understanding of differences in between the custodial and non-custodial solutions. Uh, uh, what are decentralized applications and, and how to regulate products uh, like that, especially products that don't have counterparty uh, risks. Uh, the, the stable coin development uh, interests us uh, a, a, a lot like to that, 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 but there is really the same uh, difficulties like uh, within the KYC problematics uh, there is some suggestions there as well that that how would we want uh, to get chains there uh, are, the Finns are great followers of the uh, legislation and the problem is that, that often we are holier than the Pope uh, here when we do like regulation on top of of regulation that, that we have still doubts that the euro regulations aren't tough enough then we develop some own regulations we hope like uh, with the ICA that that how how does it go it gives kind of a hopes that 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 we are in the uh, pan-european uh, uh, regulation pushes then more through and that, that we get the opportunities to, to work in the market uh, more. But like from the Finnish blockchain companies, I think that the, every work we do, or the works here, they are 90% uh, we do uh, in the export market from us. And there are the uh, dangers as well in that way, way that uh, the uh the portless technology to to be understood like uh it's not just or any piece of cake like any policy maker then that that uh and but like here nearby i i would say like uh this example from denmark that that uh like our programmers and coders like that uh that if you get uh, like legal uh, uh, legal things from just coding and, and you don't even know what's going going on there that, that and what's legal and, and what's not legal and, and, and it can be like jailed from this kind of things that that I think that's kind of the the last thing anyone would wish so, uh, this kind of uh, regards and uh, VCs here Finland for the community that, that even though we have so uh, 
hostile environment here that, that we, we hope to, to do better in the future and, and we keep following the, the world uh, things uh, very much and, and, and try to offer the services here from the Helsinki Blockchain Center and keep the community alive. So that was kind of there, that's what I had in mind. Hopefully uh, it gives some thoughts for someone for uh, for this, that I could share this with you. Thank you. Great, thank you very much, Marcus, much appreciated. Um, and thank you for describing the uh, quite tricky environment that you've been working in. I think that's the end of this session. Um, yeah. yeah, Yeah. no problem. Um, so. No, it's very kind, Marcus. Um, unfortunately, um, Lord Holmes couldn't, uh, couldn't come to us due to the death of Her Majesty the Queen. Uh, so we'll be picking up the next session at, I believe, 10.15. Could you confirm that? Nothing? Yeah, 10.15. Great. So we okay. can conclude this session. Thank you, Marcus, for your Great. excellent talk. And um, Thanks. We'll Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Ciao. Bye now.